Hey everyone, Cole with GZ, another new release preview. Everything on this table here hits the shop on Friday, February 10th, 4 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Hawaii time. All right, we have a quite a bit of new products this week. Uh, we have some new Koyas, and you can see the 14-inch hardhead, 12-inch hardhead, and the straight runner there. We have Mold Craft. Uh, we are adding Mold Craft, the, the wide range series in two different sizes, and the Super Chuggers in two different sizes. Uh, we have some uh, different pound cable from AFW, which is what we use for our hook rigs. And then lastly, we have a small batch of pre-owned lures. We'll go through those in a bit. Actually, let's start with these because I have a lot of information on some of this and I don't want to forget it. Um, first of all, last week we had a yellow fish head lure. Um, this has actually been happening consistently almost every week. Uh, uh, you guys, the GZ community keeps on coming out and helping us out when we are not sure what a lure is of the lure maker, which obviously bothers me. I would rather have all the information for you guys before we release this stuff. So last week we had a yellow fish head lure and I think it was Charles Blom out of Hawaii. He's a good customer of ours. He reached out and told us it was a clearance lure. <clears throat> so I want to appreciate that, Charles, as well as all you guys who have done that in the past. Uh, I think the last three little small releases, we've had one or two lures that we weren't sure about, which is some of that, some of the reason why some of these are kind of stragglers is because we have to dig for some information um, on some of them. And anyway, you guys have kind of let us know and I appreciate that for sure. Um, <clears throat> cause then we can share that information and get it up there. And sometimes before we even release it publicly. And, um, so again, appreciate it guys. So if you see anything, uh, if we say something wrong, for example, which we try not to say anything, unless if we are confident in what we're saying, um, or if we're unsure of what one of these, like if we have some pre-owned lures, unsure what they are, and you have some information on them that you think is valuable, please share with us and, We'll give you some credit for that and uh, show our appreciation. So anyway, let's get started with these. Um, well, first we'll go with the three at the top here. Uh, these are Joe Yee lures. They're pre-owned, but they pretty much look unused. Um, these are very old lures. You can kind of even tell from this ice blue one. You can see it's sort of like this. the, the skirt saddles are discolored a little bit. And you can see that there's sort of like a little coloration. Um, if that's what you want to call it on the eyes where you can see the white is kind of a little bit yellowy a little bit these are old joe yees um these two black pearl are unmarked but we are we know the the person we got them from we're confident in their uh um and his credibility with these um and if you can tell this is a 505 i haven't seen a 505 copy before i'm not saying it doesn't exist but the skirt saddles are right on just unmarked um, this is a Super Apollo, both of those are. You can see the ice blue one is labeled and they all came from the same customer. He got these from Joe a long time ago. Um, so these three will be on the website and I know a lot of you guys have reached out to us wanting uh, Joe Yee's and, and all that and we have a plethora of customers that are looking for them. Um, we did not reach out in advance on this because we have so few and really, no one has really asked specifically for these. So the super, these two super poles and this, uh, um, this 505. But uh, we have not received any new Joey's in a, a couple months or so. So we're hoping to get some soon. But just keep in mind these are um, before before we get in trouble on anything from any of you guys for not reaching out to them because uh, we try to release all these to the public just fyi these are from another fisherman um and they are kind of vintage old school unmarked uh, two of them so a little bit different but anyway enough of that spiel uh we have a g-force i believe this is called the d cup i tried to look it up beforehand it's a cup face lure chugger style lure um this is made i can't remember the guy's name but these are made out of australia um, here we have a an old school Yozuri. It's a I would maybe say the, a large okay head. You can see their okay head. This is the 
you can see it's got the sticker eyes on it. So this is an old one. Um, really nice blue rainbow color. And this is a, like a 14 inch almost large size. So a really nice kind of rare lure there. This one we're, we are unsure of what it is. Um, and I honestly don't even remember where we got it from. Uh, I think it came out of Hawaii and on in Kona, but I don't recall. Um, but it is a, you can tell it's an old lure. Uh, it's kind of corroded. Um, it's got a corroded mirrored insert inside, um, purple back. It's like a sort of a 12 inch sized, 10 inch, 12 inch sized uh, plunger shape. Here we have a JB Lures. Uh, it's a dingo. I would say it's the nine inch size dingo. So whichever one, if that's the little dingo or whatever he calls that. Um, these are made out of Australia as well. And then lastly, we have a Gaji Lures uh, seven inch jetted scoop. Really nice bright rainbow colors and a bright silver back. Uh, so a nice lure from Gaji Lures, little small seven inch scoop. All right, and then there's the cable wire real quick. We got 900, 800, 600, and 480 pound cable. So, and they come in 30 feet, uh, 30 feet coils. That is what we're going to offer for right now on that. Uh, we may offer like by the foot or whatever. We do have some bulk on some of them, but not only in a couple of the sizes and we're using that mostly for our rigging. So, um, but for now we're just going to offer the 30 foot coil. So if you're looking for cable, we'll have it. All right. Then the mold craft, um, you know, we, we went back and forth on this for a while on carrying these just because we focus so much on the handmade, uh, lures, um, resin based lures. And these are obviously different. They're soft heads. Uh, but Molecraft kind of speaks for themselves. These are very, very well known. Uh, the Super Chugger, um, maybe not the most well known lure of Molecraft stuff, but very well known. And it has caught, the Super Chugger has caught a, I think it was a 1400 plus um, Atlantic Blue Marlin record out of Brazil. Uh, this thing is a very famous lure. Even probably more so famous is the wide range. And this these have caught a lot of granders. A lot of granders. Um, they market that they've caught an 1800 plus um, on one of these lures. Um, that's And I think that if I recall correctly, there was a grander in the last couple years caught out of Kona on one of these on the on the purple uh wide range but um i don't remember that entirely sure but i i'm i'm pretty sure that is correct but these have caught so many grainers and big fish it's it's just ridiculous known as one of the best marlin lures of all time even you know you ask prominent lure fishermen captains they uh, i mean they speak that you know, about these lures like they're they're definitely one of the best. You can't really beat a, um, uh, a mold craft wide range here. So, um, we have two different sizes. We're carrying the senior size and the, um, the standard size. So nine inch and 12 inch versions of both the uh, wide range. And you can see there the super chugger. Uh, we don't have any of the, um, uh, what do they call them? The, the big ones. Um, or the smallest version, the four inch version. Um, if that's something you're looking for, let us know, we can bring them in, but we, we right now are not focusing on those. So we have, and we have a variety of color patterns, pretty much the same color patterns in every shape. I'm only brought out the, the senior wide range, but we got black over black, black and purple, blue and white, uh, purple, silver, and black, purple, over purple, um, that is the blue, white over pink, black and orange, black and green. And then, um, not shown there, but this is the mackerel, mac, silver, pink color. That's pretty popular. Um, and you can see those have a little bit more of like a clear head with a rainbow scale paper underneath. So a little bit different there. Um, but yeah, that is the, those are the colors we brought in. And 
all all basically well two shapes four different sizes four different size shape combos all right then we got the koi lures sorry it's getting a little bit long um i rambled a bit there we have 14 inch hard heads this is the lure that caught that won the 2022 bisbees so we haven't really had much stock for a little bit um so we have four different color options here there'll be a couple head only options as well um check them out online uh, different cool little colors this is a new one like a sort of a glittered ice blue pearl but it's sort of a like a transparent rainbow scale wrap it's not their typical his typical rainbow scale that's a little bit different um and of course we have some nice rainbow patterns black pearl insert um you we you could use this as a pink or red resin but we uh we dress that one in pink and blue and silver and then um here we got the yellow popular yellow rainbow blue vinyl over green and yellow and then we have of course the 12 inch hard head um similarly we will also have a couple head only options that you can skirt up your way or buy just the heads um you can see a couple a few different color patterns vinyl and rubber skirted options so um and I think that's the one right there that we put out on a small little clip on social media. And then lastly, we have the straight runner. Uh, we haven't had any of these in quite some time. Um, so we have a new stash of straight runners. These are pretty popular when we bring them in. Just different color patterns. We mostly skirted these up with rubber skirts, but we'll have some head only options. You can skirt some in vinyl if you would like, just customize them. And we're working on some tweaks to our website. Um, obviously, we have rigging services coming up. We'll be putting those on the website fairly soon. I have a deadline that I'm not going to share because we're trying to hit it. But uh, um, that will be up soon. And if you do need anything rigged, you obviously you can hit us up and let us know. And we'll do it for you. And we'll have some videos showing our rigging styles and why we do the way we do them. Um, explaining our our uh stiff rig um uh construction and all that so all right that is it for this week again thank you for your time sorry this is a little bit longer video but i uh, hope you enjoy these and uh and again thank you for all the help with the pre-owned stuff it means a lot to us and we the more we learn the more we can teach you and we pride ourselves in our knowledge of lures but we don't know everything so um appreciate it all right. Have a good weekend, guys. Thank you.